up and at him and so I was raised to be strong and mama told me be a thug since the day I was born I came up out the gutter and never changed my style Got for feel about my face was cause the game was well And the fame was a pop drop Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to Initial Audio. Today we're diving deep into the classic vibes of Tupac with a beat remake of his iconic track, Are You Still Down? Our project tempo is set at 95 BPM. Let's jump right in. First up, we're working on the strings. For this, we're using the Liberty preset from the Cold Heat Up 3 expansion pack. It gives us that rich, soulful vibe perfect for this track. Here, you can see the piano roll for our strings. We're in the key of D minor, and this melody sets the emotional tone for the track. We've got a simple, repetitive pattern that loops every two bars, creating a haunting and memorable motif. Make sure your notes overlap slightly for a smooth legato effect. This gives the strings a more natural flowing sound. Adjust the velocity to add dynamics to your melody. Next, we're laying down the bass. We're using an acoustic bass from the Heat Up 3 Studio Essentials Library. This bass gives a solid and warm foundation to our track. We're keeping it simple with deep, punchy notes that follow the root notes of the chords. This helps to anchor the track and provides that classic hip-hop groove. Now let's move on to the synth pluck, which will add a catchy, rhythmic layer to our beat. Here's our synth pluck pattern. We're sticking to the key of D minor, adding a bit of rhythmic complexity to our beat with this pattern. Great, now we have our melody, bass, and pluck. Next up, we're adding the drum pattern to complete the beat. Moving on to the drums, which are crucial for capturing that classic hip hop vibe. We'll be using a mix of classic kick, snare, and hi-hat sounds. Let's start with the kick and snare. Now that we have our kick and snare laid down, let's fill in the gaps with some percussive elements to add more texture and rhythm to our beat. To add more bounce and depth to our drum pattern, we'll layer a second kick and snare. This technique helps to fill up the sound and gives the beat more punch and character. And there you have it, a two-pack type banger at its finest. We've built a beat that captures the essence of a two-pack beat, complete with a rich melody, punchy bass, and dynamic drum pattern. Now let's hear it with some vocals to really bring it to life. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a beat. And check out heatup3 at initialaudio.com.